I'm sorry, but it was the only thing the guy in the inn had for sale that was remotely appropriate. It's pretty much identical to the one I'm having to wear, and it was either this or the hood. And you know how cranky you get when you have to wear a hood. If it helps, don't think of it as wearing a silly looking outfit. Think of it as pretending to be somebody else. You know, who's wearing a silly outfit. Look, the thing is, is we need to blend in and this helps us blend in. We're just a pair of bright-eyed and in your case, bushy-tailed students hanging around the college doing the sort of things that students normally do. Which... Actually, what do students do when they're not learning stuff? We need to buy all of your cheapest beer and two sets of fake breasts. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to admit, but I quite like the idea of having my name on a plaque outside my room. It's, um, oddly civilized. It's a bit bright with the, uh, torch, isn't it? Unfortunately, the room is a little dark, although I have to say we've lived in worse accommodation. Student Handbook, 8th edition. Probably useful to a budding student who intends to hang around. That does not really apply to us. We are getting out of here. But I mean, I, I will give them their dues. We have sheets, a clean room, a little too much fur for my liking. But you know what? Probably helps keep it a little warm in here. It is a stone castle-like structure after all. And a door! I mean, by Nordic standards, that's positively posh. Yes, it is. And we have all these little plaques. Chisago's quarters. Thalmor advises. Okay. Right. Yeah. Honestly... If I did have any inclination to learn magic, I'd be fairly comfortable here. Yes, I would. However, let's get on with the job at hand, which is, of course, getting uncomfortable by travelling to a place called Sarthal. I believe we have to take... Okay. Ignore the students practising. Okay. Concerning Orthorn, concerning practical ju Okay. Congratulations to the spectacular spellcaster who managed to somehow cram several hundred apples into my pillow. Well done. I'd say that you'd impressed everyone and need not further attempt to prove yourself. One note to the person responsible. I'll have you know that I am a pioneer in making things vanish without a trace. And when I do so, they do not always return. Drevis... Neloren. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. You know what? Stop thinking about it. Oh, God. I'm... Yeah, okay. The gate likes to open itself. Little terrifying. Um. So. The rest of the students and the teacher have headed off to Sarthal. They seem to be walking, so... You know, I gave them a bit of a head start. I'm just going to take Shadowmere. And I... Oh. How are you doing for sweet rolls? Mm-hmm. Uh... I'm wondering if you like this snow as much as I do. Um, no. Um, right. I need to trade some things. What are we doing? i tell you what, I'm going to give you your fur cloak back. I am going to give you your fur cloak cloak back because it does look like it is getting a tiny bit chilly and I was going to give you oh I've got a few oh we're rationing them right how, how many do you have you have you have three okay well well it's cold back to business yes and we're getting back to business so uh, you probably need 
your snacks. Yeah, it looks like we just follow the road out from Winterhold, go around the mountain, and we should just end up at Sarthal. Even we shouldn't be able to get lost doing that, although with my sense of direction and the appalling state of the roads around here, anything is possible. The wizards went on ahead, so hopefully they will have cleared the way... I'd forgotten how annoying that was. Okay, ice wraiths. I was hoping they had cleared the way with their magic. Although I suppose wizards also have various other powers at their disposal to avoid danger. We, on the other hand, have the power of going really, really fast. Let's just follow the road and... Hopefully... Oh, just, just ignore the ice wraith. Ignore the troll. Is this the road? Is this the road? Am I still following the road? I... Yes, okay. I... Okay, please be friendly. Please be fr We're... Yes, he's on our side. He's on our side. Excellent. Yes, you go and deal with... Okay, I'm not... Okay, what? No, 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 no. Why is the horse running out into danger? Okay. Yes. Well done, Inigo, using that magic arrow spell. Very, very impressive. Yes, it was. You should teach me that. Where's the... <sighs> Sweet roll. At least he stroke she is safe. Okay. Um... Yeah. I'm I'm not used to having wizards on my side. No, I'm not. So this is the excavation? Alright. Excavation worker, hello. This better be good. Um I was just wondering where um where the you know entrance is. Shall I assume down? Probably. You do have rather a lot of workers. I'm wondering whether I could poach any of them. Uh, oh. Probably we were supposed to go down there like civilized people. Aha! Uh -huh. And? Yeah, no, the, 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 the elemental beings are freaking me out a little. Sorry, sorry, we got a little, um... Never mind. Um, hello. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? Yes. Good to see you. Ooh. What is important about this place? We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. It's rather unlike anything we've encountered. Okay. Magic? What are we looking for, though? Anything. Anything at all that might be of interest. That's why I adore this location. We have no idea what we're going to find. And if along the way my message about the dangers of magic should happen to sink in for a few students. That would be a happy coincidence. Oh, I'm I'm all on board about the dangers of magic. Okay then. I you know I'm let's go. Alright. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Absolutely. So he doesn't know what to expect inside. Doesn't know what he's gonna find, which means He'll never know if we find it first. Although, yeah, let, let's let yeah let, let's let these guys go first, and um, you know, just in case. I'm sure the place is secure. They have been excavating here for some time, after all. But let's take no chances. As some of you may know. Sarthal was one of the earliest north settlements in Skyrim. It was also the last. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sarthal. Okay, dude. Keep up. Guy's giving you a history lesson. This is an exciting opportunity for us to be 
able to study such an early civilization and the magic of things. Okay, it is dark. You know, there might be gold somewhere in here. I'm not sure well, what I was are expecting, there any questions before we begin? End. There's no gold, nothing shiny at all. Sorry, I was Sounds just so distracted by. You wouldn't be allowed to take it, even if there was. Like anyone would even notice in our dismiss. Sorry, I'm just distracted by these two people speaking over us, and so Jazago wants shiny things, and she's well, a bit of a tech. Could you two stop? We're having a conversation here. I don't have any more questions. What would you like me to do? That's yeah, what, what? What do you need of us? Ah, oh, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. Oh. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now, let's see. What shall we have the rest of If we find anything? Brennan, my dear, why don't you search for warding magics? Anything designed to keep people out. Don't interact with them, just identify them. Uh. Armand, please search that area over there. See if you notice any residual energies. Alive or undead. Zizargo, what shall we have you do? Ah, why don't you verify that we're the first ones here? Look for any amount of tampering of the tombs. All right, everyone. Let's be careful, but have fun. Jazargo finds nothing but dust in these ruins. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Trust me, I've had a bit of experience with ruins, and just finding dust is probably... Well, that would be good news. Okay. Have they all just... Right, you know what? Just because they've walked here, let's not assume they didn't step over any traps. Okay, so I have got to fight. Did you remember who it was we were supposed to find? What have I got? Oh. We're probably supposed to be using some sort of magical lights. Not, not torches. Not torches. No. A jar with a with a lit bug probably seems more mystical. It just doesn't give quite as much light. No, it doesn't. Okay, was there? I don't want to start jumping from ledge to ledge, making myself look rather stupid, especially if I fall. Uh, bone meal and. Okay. They won't mind me taking things like that. I am, uh, I'm an alchemist, and, you know, I mean, it's not magic, but they do, they do learn alchemy at the college. So, I just need to wander around. Please be careful here. The site isn't entirely secure. Yeah. Okay, is this... Arniel Gain, hello. It's going to take forever to sit through all this. I am here to help. I'm a very helpful person. What? Uh, oh. Ah, yes. Sorry, I you. Sometimes eat when I get I nervous. remember you. Maybe you You're going to help? That's fine. Just, they are just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh, you can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Okay. Search for Marticle. Okay, what do you need me to do? Just round up the rest of the magical artifacts so that I can catalog them. When you say artifacts, are, we, are real artifacts or just like trinkets uh -huh. and things? Be because, you know... Okay, would you stop? <sighs> and give me those uh -huh. bloody sweet rolls. You're just... You're, you're pigging out on them again. Out of curiosity... What do the dead do when they are not attacking us? I doubt they sing and dance. Maybe they practice their groaning. Okay. Well, it's a good question, isn't it? If you think about it, it's a... All right, let, let, let's get on with the... Uh, looking for artifacts. 
Does that look suspicious to anybody else? Right. Now. Come here. What? Come here. Here's... Come here. Here's the plan. I'm guessing we're not... I was about to say... I'm guessing we're not going to find what we're looking for just lying around, but... Magical artifact. Okay. Um... What was I saying? Right. The main reason for being here, whatever it is they're looking for, is not going to be just hanging around on the floor out here. I can smell bones. No, it's not. So we just keep playing along... Looking for stuff, and we see what happens, okay? We can always... We can always give them the stuff and then acquire it back later. Okay, really? This ring found in the ruins of Sarthal seems to mimic the design of many ancient rings found in Resdane. Does it seem a little suspicious to you that there seem to be magical rings placed on the floor like breadcrumbs? In places like this, it is hard to remember there is still joy in the world. Well... Activate ancient amulet. You see, now that looks a... Okay... Out of curiosity, why has none of them thought to take this? Are you saying they haven't noticed it? I mean, it's one thing to say they haven't noticed rings lying around on the floor. He does seem to be taking rather a lot of interest in us, doesn't he? Hello. Please be careful here. The site isn't entirely secured. Yes, I'm I'm Until next I'm time. I'm getting that. It's going to take forever to sit through all this. Have you thought about I don't know just looking down occasionally and seeing what you can pick up because so far I've found two things lying on the floor and one thing that well, let's face it, is looking suspiciously like a trap. We've had two little breadcrumbs leading to... Yeah, the look on your face says it all. Are you ready? And of course... Did you know that was going to happen? What world was that racket? Is everything all right? That was the most obvious trap on the face of the planet. And, uh, I triggered it. Kind of knowing it was going to trigger, to be honest. Um. How in the world did that happen? Well, to be honest with you, I sort of thought this was perhaps a test or something. The way you were staring at me. I pulled an amulet off the wall. Was this not supposed to happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? I use the... Oh. Sarthal amulet. This knotwork medallion portrays two sides of the Nordic god Shaw. Is that what I picked up? It didn't quite look like that when I picked it up, but... That's the only amulet I've got, and it says Sarthal amulet. I just wore it. That was a really stupid... Do you see that? Some kind of resonance. You and the wall. It must be connected to the amulet. I wonder, 
What effect might your spells have? My, 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 my spells, but I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll check. I'll just, crap. Okay, we have to, all right. He wants me to hit it with a spell. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, God. I, I know. I know. Just bear with me. Add it. Add it. I knew that one would work. It's just that's the, the um. Yeah. <sighs> well, I've done it once before. I've done it once before. So I guess. Okay. This is a bad idea. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Follow Tolf. D I, oh. Okay, so that opened that. I did that. I'm not going to bloody well do it again. Well, this is highly unusual and very interesting. It's a tunnel. It's the most commonplace thing. That probably says something really bad about me, that I think this is the most normal thing ever. Why in the world would this be sealed off? Uh, because nobody what wants to come here? Ooh, we might... ...be heading towards whatever the I'm real... I'm not sure what to expect here. Please be on your guard. Uh. Oh. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, Mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I'm sorry, I, can you- I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? Um. Okay, this is gonna sound slightly nuts. But a dude appeared, said he was from the Civic Order or something, and told me to be careful, pretty much. And he waited on about judgment. Gotta be honest, it was all a bit of a blur. I felt like I was tripping. I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? It said something about Danger Head and the Sigic Order. The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. No, I'm not sure. And Danger Ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, no, that makes lots the of sense. have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Okay. Now, please do be careful. Perhaps we Who shouldn't? Who knows what we're going to find? I know what we're going to find. We're going to find horrible creatures that want to kill us. This is your first excavation, isn't it? Be honest. What is the Sigic Order? They were a group of mages with a history that predates the Empire. Very powerful, very secretive. No one's seen them in well over a hundred years. They vanished, along with their sanctuary on the Isle of Arteum. I have no idea what connection they'd have to this place. Yeah, well, they didn't seem all that pleased at us being there. Here. I mean, they said something about judgment not being passed, but judgment would be passed on further actions, which kind of sounded a bit like, okay, we're not going to do you in for coming this far, but if you go any further, that's it. That's how it sounded. Why is the Sigic Order contacting me? I have no idea, but it's fascinating. Assuming it's true, of course. The Isle of Arteum what does that disappeared mean? over a hundred years ago, and no one has seen them since. And yet now, suddenly, They've chosen to contact you. 
Why, it's intriguing. If nothing else, I'd take it as a compliment. The Sidics have only ever dealt with those they feel worthy. Yeah, they're probably doing it because I put the uh, amulet on and they seem to be assuming I'm a mage. So, um... Take care now. Take care and open... What was that? That's coffins! Hit them with magic and stuff and... Oh, God. I... This place is not very welcoming. I... I was out of magic from opening the door. Otherwise, I would have blasted him. It just... You know, sometimes you just have to rely on... Oh. Okay, it's another passage. Be prepared to defend yourself. I'm just gonna let you go first, mate. That that that's my current plan. Okay. Uh was Was there anything else? Oh, we probably shouldn't let him get too far ahead. Okay, Tolf there. Mr. Dragonfly wants us to leave this place. He is not happy. I, I've been told to pass on a message from Mr. Dragonfly. This place is probably bad. But what are you doing? And could you stop doing it? Unless, of course, it drives away. Be prepared to defend yourself. Right, yeah. Be prepared to defend yourself. Fine, alright, I'm still out of magic, okay? I'm at Be careful. Ah. You be careful! Everybody be careful! I'm oh this is simply fascinating. I'm wearing a bloody robe. And a What the hell is I'm activating the lever, okay? Watch what you're doing. I'm opening the door and backing away from it in case some horrible fiery death drops on us. Do you know where you are going, my friend? No, not really. Following this guy. Oh. Okay. Uh. Uh. I'm using an invisibility spell. And. See? Invisibility. I'm an illusion. Ma Tell you what I am. I'm a man who's going to drink a bloody night vision potion so he can see what the hell is going on. Oh. See? Blasting things with fire is not the only way to I've solve never seen anything like this problems. In Nordic ruins before. Why just look at all these coffins? Oh, goody coffins! Yay! This bears closer inspection. I'd like to stay a while and examine this. You, however, should press on. See if you can find whatever this vision of yours mentioned. But if it is truly dangerous, be careful. Go on ahead. I'll be sure and catch up with you before long. Seriously? We're in a dark, zombie-infested ruin, and your plan is... Let's split up. Okay, that is better. If we're carrying on alone, we're definitely dressing correctly for the occasion. We can just tell him these are our secret super magic excavation robes or something. There does seem to be a few coffins remaining. Yes. Are you really just going to leave these arrows sticking out of them? I mean, they look like ebony arrows. He's humming. He's actually humming. He's humming. <sighs> All right. And... Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Be prepared to defend yourself. I... I... I am. That... He Take care now. Yes. I'm... I'm just, um... Checking things for clues. Activate the chain before I do that. Let's just have a quick drink. Now, I'm not hungry yet, so you're not having a sweet roll. 
Oh, there's two chains. Okay. Okay. One for that. One for here. And then a doorway. Okay. Let's start approaching this a little more like professional, shall we? Okay. Very bright in here for a dark crypt. Although not quite bright enough. I'm still thinking it's pretty odd that he didn't bring any of the other wizards with us. And then he just sent me a novice on ahead. It's almost as if he's hoping I'll get myself killed. And the fact that he did set fire to me with a fireball does somewhat reinforce that suspicion. He seems like such a sweet old man, doesn't he? But I'm beginning to think he's actually a cunning schemer. Crawling around in the dark without an old mage feels oddly comforting. And again, I cannot believe I'm in this situation and using the word comfort. Oh, oh, there's a trap. There is a I see a trap. Inigo? Inigo? Come here. I, oh god, I want you to stay right, no, 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 come, 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 come here, come here. I will be there. here when you return. Stay in the dark spot, dark spot. Dude. Stay. Thank you for the offer, but I'd rather not relax at the moment. Dude. Are you staying here? I'm ready to bounce. I don't want to be back. Please stay there. Please stay there. Okay, there's two of them. There's two of them. It is very dark here. So they cannot see me. Okay. Oh. Oh. I think he knows his friend is dead. Don't. I am with you. What? Did you just throw your voice? Neat trick. Don't do it again. Okay? Thank you. Oh, there he is. <sighs> On the bright side, whatever we find... We should be able to just put it in our backpack and pretend we didn't find it. It's all a bit of a mystery, right? Just, uh... A failed excavation, so to speak. Alright, you know what? Let's, uh, turn on the... I did not mean to do that. I didn't hear him. Okay. Stay in the dark. Stay in the dark. Oh, God. I think he's spotted. Inigo. Inigo, please don't push me whilst I'm trying to stab undead creatures in the back. All right. I think we're... Yeah, you know what? It does give off a little more light, doesn't it? It, just, it feels a little more appropriate. For this, sneaking around. Oh, actually, you know what? The both together do. S Hello. Ooh, that 
is definitely worth something. Oh, no, we need ruined books, don't we? Yes, we do. We need... This is above where we came in, isn't it? Yep. And was there any... Nordic ruins always feel unsafe to me. Yes, and unhygienic. And I will admit, we do spend a worrying amount of time crawling around them. But that's the problem with being relic hunters, isn't it? Relics are usually found in dark, dirty, somewhat creepy places. Okay, it's only been a little while and so oh, hello and I feel a little out of practice okay right so we have a somewhat ominous looking oh no it's empty apart from a dagger that door on the other hand Bodes. Kind of just an iron dagger. Okay. I should have checked the traps. Spend a few hours in a college and all of a sudden I'm losing my touch. here do not seem like the more powerful types. Not seeing death lords and such. However, I think it's best to not take wild risks. Okay, in I go. Oh, I saw it at the last second. Right. Stay there. Come back safe. Didn't see the activator. Did, however, see... The what do we call that? The hole, the barrel, the business end. want to keep my eyes open for precisely that okay and you yes I saw Probably check a little more carefully on the way. Ah. Okay, two whales. Yeah, I did say I could check on the way back, didn't I? Yes, I did. Two whales. A hawk and a snake. Another whale. Another snake. And... Alright. So, I pull the lever and get shot 
with poison darts unless I get all the symbols right. But the question is, what is the... G ah! Do they have to match the ones behind them? Do they have to match the ones behind them or the ones they're facing? I'm going to go with match the ones that are behind them to start with. There's probably some way to know. Okay. Where are the... Oh god, they're all over the place. Okay, that wasn't so bad. In you go. We're moving. Okay. And... There's at least one Droga ahead. You know what? I actually should <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Might not need it quite yet. Okay. This... Okay, did you not... Okay, do not take too long. We have got at least one up there. And this seems the sort of place where we might find a powerful... Okay. It's dark, but I'm... Is that a death lord? Ooh. Yes, it was. But this is a daydream. Dagger, and I. Okay, and I am the leader of the Dark Brotherhood, which makes me a deadly killer. Yes, I'm feeling pretty damned good about that. Although I'm still a little nervous about opening that door. Extinguish. All right. Did we miss anything here? Probably, but as I've said, maybe we check on the way back. Another passage. And... Now, if that isn't trapped... Okay, I'm not... I'm not seeing... any... Tra trap. Okay. Scroll of Dread Zombie! That does not fill me... with feelings of security... Pleasant nurse. Can I get... I don't think I can get past that. I really don't think I can actually get past that. And I found that throwing things on it didn't really help. <sighs> Probably just... Oh... What about that spark? Slightly less chance of setting fire to myself, but just more chance of electrocuting myself. Okay. No! 
Yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick to throwing stuff. That is loud. And it looks very, very bloody dangerous. Oh. Okay. Um. Is there anything to throw? Probably not. Of course there's nothing to throw. Of course there's nothing to throw. Can I throw him on it? How about I take the embalming tool? Yes. What are you doing? Don't judge me. I just really do not like blasting electricity and fire from my hands, okay? Call me. Oh, yeah. Fine. But you're not the one that's. Do oh, fro Frost. That should be a little more. Yeah. Okay. Right. Here goes. No, that was no less stressful. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I suppose it's better than getting blasted to pieces. Uh, whale? Snake? We got those strange murals. Okay, whale, hawk. Okay then, so snake and whale. Oh really? Okay, so we got we got whale in place, and we got snake. And um, on this side, we need hawk and whale. Okay, this one actually moves by itself. Okay, so... Ah. All right, this one to hawk. This one moves by itself, uh, so this is the last one we do. Now we've got snake and whale. Snake and whale. Hawk and whale. The okay. And... Just in case. Uh, where is the horrific death going to come from? Okay, you know what? Here we go. Come over here. Okay, I will try not to start any trouble. Do you know what would be useful? A sp uh, stay there. I will be here. A spell that lets me pull levers from far, far away. Okay. Okay. Moving out. Uh. Oh. Yes, night vision has run out. Oh well, we will take another one if we fit. Hold on, my boy. Hold on. I thought it high time I caught up with you. Oh, what? Like now? Now I've disabled all the traps and killed all the Draugr. Oddly enough, I'm kind of liking him for that, which again does not speak well of me, does it? N Alchemy bench. All right, Prim a primitive Nord heavy helmet. Have I got one of those? I'm not sure. Sarioni's sermons by Arch Canon Tholus Sarioni. Blessed Alm Civi Mercy Mastery Mystery. This volume of Hierography, Priestly Writings, was written and collected with commentary by Archcanon Tholus Sarioni. 
it is the best selling of the temple annotated texts and therefore inexpensive and commonly found in most Dumna households. Sarioni collects Vivek's most famous sermons and the popular explanations of his Gospels. This text exists in many editions. More elaborate editions are handsomely illuminated with Vivek's quotations from the Gospels for days, seasons, and festivals. Okay, is this remotely important? Could this be important? The Grace of Valor. Hear the words of Lord Vivek and heed his sermons on the seven graces, for he names them seven times and seven ways. Valor, daring, justice, courtesy, pride, generosity, and humility. All of which I have in bucket loads. Yes, indeed. However, what I'm really wondering is, is... Stay calm, Inigo. Stay calm. Why is there a... Ah, there is a trap point there. Please don't activate it while I'm using the alchemy lab. And yes, that humming noise is marginally worrying. Uh, let me just prepare a little. 202% faster stamina regeneration. That is nice. Okay, I've got a lot of fortifications and resists, and of course, I've got night vision. Are you hearing that? I'm going to say by the somewhat terrified look on your face, the answer is yes. Oh. He's just stood there staring at us. Looking as calm as anything, which is marginally disturbing. Okay, Tolf dear, could I convince you to not step on that? It it may look like Inigo stepping on it, but believe it or not, um, he's got a special magic that lets him step very lightly and not trigger traps. Unless you've got something similar, please don't step on that. I don't want to get poisoned. No. Okay, he's avoiding stepping on it, which is nice. I have a bad feeling. Um, I don't suppose you have any idea what that is. Apart from probably being the thing we've come to find. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely what we came to find, isn't it? It's... Okay, night vision not really helping. It's weird. Which should probably not come as a big surprise to me. not. I... Um, well now, would you look at that? I never imagined we'd find something like this. Why is this buried so far within Sarthong? Probably to keep it away from everybody else. I mean, I don't know about you, but there's something about this that's suggesting... I don't know. Mysterious danger? And, uh, also... Lucrative business opportunity. I mean, that... is impressive. Yes, it is. Although... I'm going to... 
What was that? That would be a drug. Oh, a droga? Okay, keep him occupied. Nothing seems to work. Have you tried shooting him? Okay, he's, he's hiding. He's hiding. He's hiding. Oh, wait. Oh, is my my weapon not hitting him? Okay, nothing's hitting him. Don't hurt me. I'm not hurting. I'm trying to hit him. Okay, something. Attack him now. What? Okay. Get. Oh, oh, God. He's immune to poison of... Well, he was immune to this. This is utterly unique. Are we... Oh, that is... Okay, that is... Marginally hypnotic. I don't... I think we're going to get that in your backpack, Inigo. This is simply fascinating. That's one word to use, but another word would be what? I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Sabosarum of this discovery? Please, hurry. Uh... Couldn't you run back and Zombies tell him? leave me alone. Zombies, I want to go home. I can smell your zombie bones. Zombies, you weaken my knees. Please, please, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no! <laughs> 